Hi everyone, we are in beautiful Australia at Sydney International Boat Show. I want to show you this beautiful catamaran sailboat Lagoon 65. So hello, my name is Joe Fox. I'm from the uh, TMG Yachts, the importer for Lagoon here in Australia, and we're on board the Lagoon 65. This is the Australian premiere of the Lagoon 65 in Australia, so we're very happy to be showing this at the Sydney International Boat Show this year. If you'd like to come through with me, uh, we'll just look through some of the, uh, the features and layout options that we have on board this boat. Lagoon are renowned for their voluminous, elegant and efficient design. So at 65 feet, uh, you're getting the real estate on board here of you know, a, a, maybe a 90 to 100 foot monohull. Uh, here we're in the, the main saloon area. Uh, there are a number of different options in the saloon on port side you can set it up as a couch seating area or you can set it up as a galley up version. So this is more of a, a family orientated vessel. On this particular boat, we have the lounge with the galley down in the port aft cabin. So we'll just head down into the port aft cabin. So this is really the, the galley, the crew mess, and crew accommodation. It gives the crew who are running the boat a bit of privacy, uh, somewhere to uh, cater for the vessel, a little private seating and dining area here for them as well. Uh, if we move further forward, we go into the crew accommodation. Uh, this can be set up in a number of ways. You can do a double bed here, um, if it's a couple crew who are working on board, or otherwise we have uh, the bunk set up here. If this boat were a galley up version, then these two cabins, the galley aft and this crew cabin can be optioned as double cabins, uh, which would give the boat a capacity of five double cabins uh, with the galley up. So up to 10 uh, people are sleeping very comfortably in double berths. Every cabin has a private ensuite toilet and there's a beautifully finished, plenty of uh, natural light and um, opening ventilation. All cabins come equipped with uh, air conditioning, uh, so the boat can be fully climate controlled, be that for heating or cooling. So moving forward, we have one of the two guest cabins in this layout. Now this is around a, a queen, queen size bed, um, and again, fully private with its own access into the saloon. Moving back up, we've got the, the private access for this cabin, which comes down from the saloon. Uh, we end up at the front of the saloon up here. So we have the internal monitoring station uh, for the skipper. Um, so you know, on the night passage or um, on deliveries, the vessel can be monitored, but not fully controlled from this position. Just behind me here, we have the amazing forward door design. Now this allows for seamless access from, from the cockpit through the saloon and out onto the foredeck. There is a small or fairly large seating area uh, which is sunken quite low. It gives uh, great protection, you know, sailing the vessel in a, in a cross wind uh, keeps the people sat in this forward area nice and protected. And then obviously a sailing catamaran comes with the, uh, the trampolines uh, which are great for hanging out and uh, having a sunset cocktail. So back in the saloon and down forward on the starboard side, uh, we have another cabin which is the same as the forward cabin on the port side.
So we're back in the saloon now, and if we make our way to the aft starboard corner of the saloon, we have the access to the owner's cabin. It's really nice with this layout that every cabin has its own private access. So follow me down. And this is really the master suite. It's um, the best cabin on the vessel, the largest cabin on the vessel with the most luxurious features. So the bed on the beds on all in all the cabins are athwart ships, uh, which gives you this lovely aspect through the hull windows uh, out to the water. Again, plenty of natural light. Uh, this cabin um, features a, a desk and plenty of storage, a private lounge. And then to the aft of this cabin, we have a, uh, a bathroom, which can be separated off from the bulk of the cabin. So this partition can close, which with the access onto the aft deck does provide the perfect day head. So with multiple guests on board for the day, this can be cordoned off um, and this can be used as a day head. In here, we have a him and hers sink uh, with a spacious shower. And then on the inboard side, a private head compartment. Making our way back through the aft access point of this cabin. So the standard engines on the Lagoon 65 are 140 horsepower Yanmar engines. Uh, and the upgrade which we have installed on this model are 195 horsepower. The boat also comes with uh, a generator and a second optional generator as well, so uh, plenty of reserve power uh, should you need it. We'll just head up to the flybridge. So this flybridge is absolutely huge. It creates really a whole nother area. Uh, you could spend a lot of time up here. Um, be it at anchor or sailing offshore. It is fully protected. There are clears that surround this whole area and you have a very comfortable lounging. Dining for up to 10 people, as well as a forward area for operating the boat. So all the lines, all the controls run here. So the crew or the skipper who's sailing the vessel uh, can operate the whole vessel from this point once the vessel is sailing. Being a sailing boat, the Lagoon 65 comes with a twin helm setup. So you've got uh, multiple viewpoints for sailing and maneuvering the vessel. Hope you enjoyed the uh, tour of the Lagoon 65. This uh, beautiful vessel on display for the first time in Australia. We're very thankful for the generous owners for uh, allowing us to have it on display. Thank you so much.